Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to do a movie review for you guys. So the movie I'm reviewing today is Don't Breathe. So in honor of Don't Breathe 2 coming out, I thought it would be a good idea to give a revisit to Don't Breathe, the first one, and kind of uh, see how I feel about it. Because this is a movie I've probably only seen once, and I remember thinking it was okay, and I am like, you know what, let's kind of revisit this and see what they're doing with the sequel. So let's get into what this movie is about. So this really revolves around four people. We have the blind man, and then we have the three, I would say they're late teens, early 20s, and they're, I don't know if I would call them friends per se, but we have Rocky, who is the only female of the group. We have Alex, who kind of has this crush on Rocky. And then we have Money, who I don't think it's ever really established if him and Rocky are in a relationship or not, but they all, all three of them, go and rob houses, I guess, to get extra money. Alex is along because his father owns a security company and he has access to be able to disarm the security systems that these people have in their houses, and money is kind of like the the brunt of the operation. He goes in, in this movie we specifically see him go into the room and add some stuff to a bottle and kind of create like a knockout gas. He's also doesn't really, he's not very careful. And then we also have Rocky and she's kind of, she's doing this specifically because she wants to get a better life for herself. She's trying to raise money because she wants to go to California. And they decide that they are going to rob this old blind guy's house. He's a veteran and he lost his vision during a war or something along those lines. And he actually apparently had a settlement with a rich family whose daughter ran over his daughter and killed her in an accident and he got a settlement, a six-figure settlement, and that is what kind of sparks the interest of Money, Rocky, and Alex. And they're like, we're gonna do this, this will be our very last robbery, and we'll take this money and we'll go and remake our lives in California. So let's now talk about some of the interesting things in this movie, and I think one of the biggest things are the characters. These characters are very interesting and complex, and we've got the Rocky, Alex, and Money characters, and those are our pseudo-protagonists. They're the ones that you want to root for, and they are the ones that you are rooting for in this movie. The thing that becomes interesting about it is that they are also doing crime. They're not necessarily good people in this movie. They are the ones that are like basically breaking into this guy's house to steal his money and that means that our antagonist is the blind man and the blind man we find out has some stark secrets and he is the villain of this movie Basically everything about him is he takes things a little too far. And I'll talk a little bit in a spoiler section at the end when I'm going to talk about what my thoughts about the upcoming Don't Breathe 2 are. So one of the things that I really enjoyed about this movie is that the tension and suspension in this movie are off the rails. Like, I think that this is such a good suspense movie. There are so many elements, and it's kind of the same aspect as, like, a quiet place where the their sound is so important because if you make a sound, then the creature will hear you. And that's along the same lines as this movie where they have to be pretty quiet once they realize that the blind man is home so that they can not alert him because since he is blind all of his other senses are heightened 
and obviously hearing is probably one of the most heightened senses that he has. So we do see a lot of issues where they make a subtle sound that most people wouldn't really think anything of and realize that he heard it and he knows exactly where they are. This movie does keep you on the edge of your seat. There are quite a few like shocking things that happen. I don't really remember a lot of this movie when I watched it, but I did, upon this watching, I was like, oh wow, I totally forgot all of these things that happened in the middle. And I was like, wow, these are kind of like shocking and like I'm not something that you really expect. There is also some pretty graphic stuff in this movie. Not, it's not graphic in gore and it's not graphic in the sense of seeing actually what happened, but it is graphic in we see a bodily fluid that we don't really ever see in movies. It's like very rarely do you see a movie that has this bodily fluid in it, and I'm actually kind of surprised that this didn't get an NC-17 just for having this specific bodily fluid in there. Alright, so let's talk about Don't Breathe 2. And this is where there will be some spoilers about some of the things that happen in Don't Breathe, so if you have not already watched Don't Breathe, then definitely don't watch the spoiler section. <laughs> But if you're leaving, definitely make sure to hit subscribe and the like button on this video. Alright, so now let's get into the spoilers. And Don't Breathe 2. So Don't Breathe 2 is taking place 11 years after the events of this movie. So not accurate in the time, which is fine. I could care less about that. But also, we are fundamentally changing who the hero of this movie is, or this franchise, I guess. And so the hero of this franchise is becoming the blind man. And I've seen some discourse about this, and I definitely agree. I have not seen the Don't Breathe 2, so I can eat my words uh, if this movie happens and it clears up the issues that I might have with it or what other people might have with it, but some things just kind of don't sit right with me and I think that it is kind of a prevalent issue in some of in the horror community and where we put certain people up on pedestals that have done really bad things that people would be vilified for if they did in real life. So let's talk about some of the things that the blind man did in Don't Breathe 1. So one, kidnapping. He kidnapped some people. Uh, we also have some false imprisonment. Uh, we do have, as much as he would detest it, we do have rape in this movie. He says that he's not a rapist, he's never touched anyone, but we find that if you look up the definition, it is clearly what he did was rape. And then we also have sexual assault, at the least. And really, it's just like, wow, we're gonna make this guy a hero, we're gonna try to redeem this guy, is what this movie and franchise seems like it's doing. I, I don't agree with that, and I don't really like that positioning with this movie. I, I don't know, I think that it should have been left as a one-and-done movie. I do tend to like Fetty Alvarez and a lot of the things that he does. He's not back to direct this movie, but I do believe that he worked on the script. And so I think that this is a potential misstep. I don't expect this to do very well at the box office. Uh, mostly a majority of it would be due to COVID, but I also feel like it has given people a bad taste in their mouth and they don't want to see this despicable and horrible character become a hero, if that makes sense. Like, we're trying to redeem him because he's trying to take care of a 11-year-old girl. There's, it's very problematic, and I'm, I'm not one to get easily offended or anything like that, but I think that there are lines that are drawn, and when you try to make this guy out to be a hero, like, in the first movie, he, he was a veteran, and we don't know any of the stuff that had happened in the last half of the movie, but once we find those things out, he immediately becomes a despicable person, 
he might have been a veteran, but just because he was a veteran doesn't make him an automatically good person and everything that he does is great. So, I don't know. I Those are just my two cents. Obviously, uh, people can make their own opinions, but I'm not going to rush to go see Don't Breathe 2. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of Don't Breathe and what your opinions are of the upcoming Don't Breathe 2. And remember, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.